Hey, my name's Andy Sims. And I'm Ryan McCord. We are students from the Guildhall at SMU, Cohort 16. Today, we're going to be talking about getting you built an installer in UDK. So, to start out, we want to open up Unreal Frontend. Now, you can find Unreal Frontend in your UDK directory uh, under your Start button, under Version, Tools, and then Unreal Frontend. Now, in the case that you don't actually find it under your uh, start menu or you didn't install it there for some reason, you can also find it under your UDK directory directly on your C drive, version, binaries, and then just scroll down until you find your Unreal frontend.exe. So we can go ahead and run that. All right, so we've got Unreal Frontend opened up and ready to go. The first thing we need to do is configure our game and figure out what platform we want it to be packaged and released on. So we go up to this configuration button, the long uh, gray button in the upper right, we click on that. This will give us a bunch of options, but most of our things have already been set. We want a UDK game, we want it to be released on the PC platform, we want it shipped for 32-bit systems, we want our release script finalized, and we want it on shipping 32. So we just finish that up and we're all set on that step. The next thing we need to do is make sure all of our content is set to cook in our final build. That means all the maps, all the levels, everything needs to be included. In this case, that means putting every level in our game into this maps to cook list. If you want to add more maps, just click on the add button and a list of all of the levels in your current UDK game will be displayed. Just select those and then add selected maps. In this case, we already have the only map that we want to add here, the dmdeck.udk. Now the final step to building your installer is just going up here to the upper left and clicking the start button. However, before you click this button, you want to make sure that your package game button is set to enabled. If it isn't set to enabled, when you click to compile, build, and package your installer, it won't actually finish the process and won't package you a finalized installer. It will just compile and cook everything. So make sure this is enabled, then when it's all set, go ahead and press the green button. Now, for the case of time, we've already got ours all set up. Once you've, once you've clicked this button, the log here will display all of the processes that are going on. Um, it'll show all of your files being compiled and then cooked and then packaged. And in the end, it's going to give you a nice finished uh, installer. So, if you want to find your installer, once it's been completed, just go to your UDK directory, go to your version folder, and there you will find your fully complete one-file installer all set and ready to go for distribution. Thanks!